is to acknowledge that Nigeria, you are out of line. Recollect yourself. Come back and live with Africa in honor and humanity, representing your nation very well. And we acknowledge that it's not all of you, but one rotten potato spoils the rest. And anything that is not right cannot be loved by anyone. Any child that misbehaves, no one can love the child nor like them. Now, in order to be loved again, to be liked again, to be appreciated again, Nigeria, change your ways and honor South Africa, honor the people of South Africa, protect our children as though they are yours, protect our women as though they are yours, then we will see Nigeria as our brother because they take care of what is ours as though it's theirs. Let me remind you of the white men with our wealth and our infrastructure. They looked after it very well. They took care of our infrastructure. They took care of our wealth. And when we were looking for it, we found everything intact. Now, if we borrow you our infrastructure, we borrow you our woman, we borrow you our brothers, take care of them as though they are yours. And when we want them, proudly hand them over back to us in the manner that we have given to you not in the grave that we will not accept that we will not tolerate and that we cannot live with now may god grant you leaders who will begin to talk on your behalf and resolve this matter and south africa stand firm and remain in love remain in order remain in peace and move forward god loves you and god is standing for you Thank you, Sibu. Answer. Pick any question okay, and answer. So the, the, the first one that I will answer is um, what is wrong between, what is happening between South Africa and Nigeria? So um, I don't think that is just between South Africa and Nigeria only, right? Um, I would say that it just so happened that we are caught in this situation because of obviously Chirima, which and whom I don't want to speak of anymore because the competitions have come and gone, you know. Um, I think it, it spiked that where we South Africans sort of um, came across a lot of, I mean, it's been there, it's been, you know, happening. It's just that we're not aware enough or rather we are not um vigilant enough of what is going on and what is happening until such situation happened and this is when now south africans um started boiling up with everything that is going on and am i gonna say that um south africans are wrong no am i gonna say that nigerians are the worst people um in terms of crime and everything no however as south africans and as a south african i'm speaking for myself i am saying that um you guys have voiced out that our governments are a problem our basically our government particularly being um in south africa is a problem so now we are asking that let's we deal with our government and whilst we do that please can you allow us a space so that we can deal with the government and when we're done then we can reconsider in saying that guys now you are welcome because now we've dealt with our corruption because there's so much crime happening in south africa where um one is saying no but this is this country and the other is saying no but this is this country and at the moment it's not helping us in any how and the only way that it can help us is if we as um, 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 siblings at home we deal with our parents at home and then after that we can allow our cousins and our I don't know if I'm, I'm you know I don't want to say it in a mean way um, that it lands very wrong on someone else um, I'm, I'm done with this fighting I'm actually so much done with it but we just want to deal with our parents in a most peaceful way and we are not only looking at um 
um, um, Africans. We are also looking at um, we are also looking at issues like Abo Phil Craig, uh, Phil Craig, that is wanting to divide South Africa into two parts. We are dealing particularly with everyone. There's a petition that is going on for Phil Craig. We have signed it. He must be deported. We don't care if he is red blue green we want him deported because he is not helping us in any how instead he is worsening the issue and then coming into hate why are our south africa's uh, south african brothers um hating again i'm gonna say that I don't think our South African brothers are hating. Yes, we've had a lot of disagreements, a lot of disagreements. Um, Nigerian brothers as well, they've been very mean to South Africa. And it's all because of Chirima. There's been very mean. There's both countries have been mean to each other. Nigeria has been so mean to South Africans and worst part of it's boo. I think I can't come to your house and then like you All say right. this is your life let me just make an example of this life okay you are my conducting sister, this life the I'll, way that I'll you are you, my sister i'll give you three minutes to summarize sure okay no problem so you are saying that um you want this life to be run the way that you want it to be run right and we are respectful of that me particularly i'll speak of myself i am respectful of that because this is your life this is your baby and um you are building it so for me to come up here and say no boom who do you think you are me being me is what what's the other thing um 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 so yeah, I understand what I'm I'm really I'm I'm now disrespecting you even to the core. You know. Um guys like Abo Reni, I do respect them so much. He did tell his story and in a very respectful way. I've got so much respect for you, my guy. But we've had a lot of um mean nigerians and yes in line in line with that we've had a lot of us south africans being mean to nigerians as well but um in a long story short we want to fix south africa and we want to fix our officials particularly but if there is also things happening on the ground mm -hmm. it's it's gonna be difficult for us and internet Renny, please, if if um um, host is if it's possible, to, uh, are you able to allow me to respond to Miss K with some of the things uh, she said directly to me? No, no, no need, no need, no need. Allow her to speak. No need. Because when you were speaking, no one interjected, no one disturbed you. So allow her to speak, and I'll ask her questions. Let let her have all my attention. Let's not disturb her and then okay thanks host um i just wanted to and then with um and then with the topic at hand um south africans wanting to raise 100k to miss Kwara, i particularly think that this is really i don't know why would south africans want to do that because there's ngos in south africa as well that are suffering that are wanting this money um yes i cannot stop that from happening whom am i to do that but there is ngos in south africa as well you know yes uh, miss kwara is beautiful the way that she is we had a miss nepal which we also sorry um last was it last year which we also celebrated being a plus size i think that is new in the pageants i think they're taking this pageantry on another level where um, people are inclusive but as far as having to go to donate 100k um for so much happening in south africa with this 100k we could take so many kids to school with this 100k we can we could open up um children uh, not really children's but um youth businesses that wanting to open businesses where they don't know how or where or who to or which door to knock at if really and truly we say we want to give charity begins at home in south africa we have so many problems before we can go outside 
you know um and then when we see that south africa is well established you know in, in this 45 percent or 42 percent of unemployment we've done x number of businesses and um, we've done x number of people to get employment right. and now we've can dropped down to two summarize, and then we can move you summarize present us you want them to come to south africa how does that make sense um it's not making sense to me as well Sbo. hence i'm saying to you that you know um yes i cannot control the fact that the 100k is being raised but there's nothing i can do about it because i believe that charity begins at home you know um for miss quara yes here's an ngo i i love that uh, they are driving those cars or is it because you see that they are not dealing in the right way because mina i don't have yeah, a my problem sister, my with sister, nigerians who bring my sister okay, I, sorry, was, I was on an uber just now uh maybe it was two days ago and uh, then um, I requested and when the Uber came it was a Nigerian woman. I'm not sure if it's Nigerian.